This is a 60 minute slow flow. Begin in child's pose. My name is Grace. As you're setting up, bring your knees just a little bit wider than you normally would. Bring your attention inward to your breath. As you're noticing your breath, notice not only the inhales and exhales, but also those subtle movements created by breath. That slight rise and fall. Bring yourself up to tabletop. <clears throat> On your own, take a couple rounds of cat and cow just to start loosening and warming up your spine. Make your way to down dog. Press your, bend your right knee, press your left heel straight down to your mat. Switch sides, bending your left knee. As you're pressing your right heel down, lift through your right toes, maybe wiggle them. Lift both heels high, press both heels down. Lift your right leg, bend your knee, stack your hips open. As you press your hands down and forward, lift your top knee higher. Draw your lifted foot back. Notice an inhale and bring your foot down as you exhale. Switch sides. Same thing. As you press your hands down and forward, lift your top knee higher, draw your lifted heel back. Take an inhale, bring your foot down as you exhale. Take a breath in, empty. One more time, inhale, 
exhale. Lift up your heels, look forward, get ready. Walk to the top of your mat, halfway lift, bow. Rise all the way up, big breath in, bow forward as you breathe out. Rise up again all the way, big stretch, bow forward. One more time, all the way up, lift up your toes, bow as you exhale, halfway lift, step back to high plank. Inhale, exhale. A couple of breaths here, building core strength, but also fine tuning your plank. Pull your hip points forward. As you draw your upper arms back, tuck your chin, lifting the back of your head. Take a breath in, empty. Shift forward, tippy toes, down dog, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Lift up your heels, look forward, get ready, walk or hop. Half lift, bow. Rise up, bow forward, half lift, high plank. Inhale, get firm in your plank, shift forward, draw your hip points forward, down dog, release. Inhale, exhale. Lift up your heels, look forward, walk or hop, half lift, bow, rise, chair pose. Inhale, exhale. Hey, Scott and Liz and Stephanie. Build your pose from your feet up. Lift all your toes. Press your tailbone down. As you're doing that, hug your legs together. Take a breath in, empty. Inhale, press your tailbone down. One more breath, bow, half lift, hands to your mat, step right back to down dog, right leg lift, bring it forward, warrior one, warrior two, and pause right here. Flip both your hands, palms are facing up. As you draw your shoulders back and down, pull your low belly up and in. Warrior gaze right over your front fingertips. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior. Come back to two, reverse. Warrior two, one more reverse, half moon. If you feel wobbly, look down at the floor.
Get active in your top foot by drawing your toes forward towards your knee. Soften your standing knee enough that you can press your hips forward as you lift your top leg higher. Take one more breath. Feet together, bow. Listen. Lift your left foot hip height. Standing split. Start with hip height. Draw your lifted toes straight down to the floor. That levels your hips. Bring your right hand to your right hip crease. Press back through your hip crease. Keeping that, press the crown of your head down. See if you can pull your lifted heel higher, maintaining that back press in your right hip crease. One more breath. Feet together, bow, half lift, step right back to down dog. Left leg lifts, bring it forward, warrior one. Warrior two, and pause. Flip your palms up, gaze oh, right over your front fingertips. Take a big breath, clear it away, reverse. Come back to warrior two, reverse, warrior two. One more reverse, half moon. Once you have your basic shape, hey Kirby, <laughs> once you have your basic shape, expand this pose in every direction. Press your lifted heel back. As you do that, press the back of your head forward. Lift through your top fingertips, pressing down through your bottom hand. Take one more breath. Feet together, bow. Right away, right leg lifts, standing split. Start with hip height so you can focus on the stretch in your left hip in this pose. Toes point down, press your left hip crease back. Keeping that press in your hip crease, Press the crown of your head down. See if you can lift your heel higher. Take a full breath in. Feet together, bow. Half lift. Step right back to down dog. Lift your right leg, bring it forward, warrior one. Warrior two and stay. Look down at your front thigh, inch your front foot forward enough that when you bring your front knee over your front ankle, your front thigh is nearly parallel with the floor. Take a breath in, exhale, reverse, come back to two, reverse, warrior two, 
One more reverse, extended side angle. Press your front knee forward and wide enough so that it stays right over your front ankle. Press down through your back heel. As you pull your heart up and away from your heel, press your hips forward. Notice your inhale. Bring both hands down, step back to down dog. Left foot steps, warrior one. Warrior two, stay here. Check in with your front thigh, nearly parallel to the mat. Take a breath in, empty, reverse. Warrior two as you exhale. Reverse with your inhale. Warrior two with your exhale. Reverse with your inhale. Extended side angle. Options for your bottom hand. You can have your bottom elbow right on your front thigh or you can extend your bottom hand down towards your mat. See if you can manage smooth exhales, smooth inhales as you hold this pose. Take one more breath, hands down, step back to down dog. Couple of rounds of breath here as a resting pause. Lift your right leg, bring it forward crescent lunge. Inhale to rise, hands to hips as you stabilize and focus on your stance. Feet a little wider is more stable. Soften your back knee so you can draw your hip points up. Everyone place your hands on your hips. Your thumb is around your back body, your pointer finger in front. From there, slide your hands right up to your lowest ribs. Your diaphragm is right underneath your ribs. For just a couple of breaths here, breathe so you feel your diaphragm expand. You'll actually feel movement with your hands, expanding with your inhales, cinching in with your exhales. Reach both hands up. Bring your left hand down to the mat, open crescent twist. As you transition, shift your left toes back. Hips are lower than your shoulders. Try and keep your back knee lifted. Focus on breath to do that. When you think, oh, I can't do this anymore. I gotta put my knee down. Take another breath in. And see if you can imagine your diaphragm expanding with these inhales. Stay just for a few more breaths. Bring both hands down. 
Step back to down dog. Left leg lifts, bring it forward, crescent. Inhale to rise. Hands to hips. From hands on your hips, raise your hands just until they encircle your lowest ribs. Your diaphragm is right underneath your ribs there. Focus on inhaling and exhaling so the movement you feel is right underneath your fingers. You can actually cinch in a little with your hands as you exhale. Reach both hands up to the ceiling. Bring your right hand down, open crescent twist. Shifting your right toes back to transition. Lift through your back kneecap. As you're lifting through your back kneecap, pull your front knee to center. Just when you think, oh, I gotta put my knee down, I can't do this. Lift again through your kneecap, take a deeper breath in, know that you can stay. One more breath, both hands down, step back to down dog. Couple of breaths here, resting pause. Lift your right leg, bring it forward and wide, lizard lunge, mm -hmm. back knee up. Look at your front foot. It should be forward enough and wide enough that it's right outside your right hand. Mm -hmm. From there, you can come down to forearms, either on a block, pillow, or all the way down to your mat. Put your back knee down. Uncurl your back toes. This is more of a passive stretch to the front of your back thigh. Want to activate this stretch a little bit without moving them. Draw your knees towards each other. Pull your heart center forward. Draw your upper arms back. You can hold that action through a breath or two. And release.
We hold these poses longer in a slow flow with purpose. Just letting the length of time you stay here and gravity do the work. Bring yourself, yourself up to tall arms if you're not already there. Shift your hips back right over your back knee. This is a half split. Press your right hip crease back. Try drawing your front toes towards your shin. You can stay right here in this half split or slide your front foot forward, moving more into a full split. If you're working towards a full split, try a block or pillow right under your front thigh and glute. Can be a nice halfway point. Draw your right hip crease back again, noticing where you feel that stretch. With some care, make your way back to down dog. Lift your left leg, bring it forward, lizard lunge. Keep your back knee up. Check in that your foot is forward enough, wide enough that it's right outside your left hand. Your left hands are, is right underneath your left shoulder. Keep your back knee up. You can come down to forearms. Lift through your back kneecap again. You can try shifting forward a little on your back toes and shift back. Bring your back knee down. your mind is starting to wander, pull your front knee in closer towards your shoulder. Lift your chest back up to tall arms. Shift your hips back for the half split. When you're in your half split, pull your left hip crease back and draw your left toes up towards you.
<laughs> Press in your hip crease, but point your toes. Stay right here in the half split, or if you're working on it, you keep on Use a pillow or block. Press back again through your left hip crease. And then with care, come out of your pose. Set up on your mat for a wide leg fold. You can keep your chest high or lean forward, lead with your heart. Staying right here in your forward fold, pull all your toes up towards the ceiling. And then reverse that action, pointing your toes. Sit tall. Bring your knees up so your feet are flat. And then windshield wiper your knees. Little release in your hips. Staying on your seat, turn towards the front of your mat and bring your left shin parallel to the front of your mat. Your right shin, I'm sorry. I'm mirroring you with my left. Right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Bring your left shin parallel to the side of your mat. Flex both feet so you're creating 90 degree angles. You have a 90 degree angle in both knees. Your left hip is coming, your left thigh is coming straight out of your hip. Press down to draw your heart center up. As you're pulling your heart center up, press your left hip point forward. Hold that through a few rounds of breath. You can stay right here or lean forward over your left thigh, 90, 90 legs.
Bring your focus back to your breath right now. Without moving your hands, imagine that area where your hands were right around your diaphragm. See if you can inhale and exhale. Focusing on that area, expanding as you inhale. And notice it cinch in as you exhale. Focus again on a few breath cycles. Lift your chest if you were leaning forward. Bring your left leg forward and over. Build knee pile. Left knee on top of right knee. I'm still mirroring you. Try and line your knees up. Shift your hips side to side. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can lean your chest forward. If you have a block, you can rest your forehead on a block. Lift your chest if you're leaning forward. I think I have been signed out. Oh dear. Grace, I still see and hear you. You can, I have a message that I've been signed out. But you can- Yeah, I don't, yeah your class has been going the whole time uninterrupted. Perfect. All right, lift your chest if you were leaning forward and create 90-90 legs with your left shin forward. Take some care as you're positioning your legs, especially check in with your back foot. It would like to pull in close to your bum. Make sure it's out even with your knee. 
creating 90 degree angles, everybody, everywhere. A little geometry mixed in with yoga. Pause right here. Press your right hip crease forward. You wanna to add to that, you can try and lift your right knee a little bit off the mat. Just activating those hip muscles first. Release them. And then if you were comfortable with that, you can lean forward over your left thigh, left shin, 90-90 hip stretch. Just to keep your attention on this pose, press your front knee down and hold that press through a round of breath. Without actually moving anything, Drop both knees towards each other. Hold that action through a round or two of breath. Pull both sets of toes towards your shins. Hold that action in your feet for a round or two of breath. Sit tall. Sit tall and pull your Right leg forward and over your left knee pile. Aim for knees stacked. And then if you would like a little bit deeper stretch, shift your heels and feet a little towards the front of your mat. and lean forward from there if that feels reasonable.
Lift your chest. And then move on your mat, set yourself up with child's pose knees. You can keep your chest lifted. We're gonna to try to create frog pose. So start with knees wide, as wide as is comfortable. Child's pose legs. And then lift your hips, walk your hands forward a little. Walk your hands forward until your hips are lined up with your knees. Come down to your forearms. See if you can shift your knees a little bit wider. And then bring your feet wide so they are even with your knees. frog. If you have a pillow or a block, it's nice to use it for holding up your weight. This is a hip stretch and an inner groin stretch. To come out of the pose, you can try bringing your feet together, coming up to tall arms and shifting your hips back, or you can crawl and tumble your way out of it. Take a quick bunny pose, press your hips back towards your heels, bring your forehead down to your mat. You can extend arms forward or back towards your toes. Bring yourself up out of the pose. Take legs up the wall. Bring your legs down. Make your way up to a comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your thighs or in your lap. 
either close your eyes or choose a focal point on the floor in front of you. Begin with a deep inhale, noticing your exhale. Do that once more, a very deep inhale. Noticing your exhale, letting your shoulders soften with your exhale. Shift now into more breath awareness. As you're noticing breath, Notice not only the inhales and the exhales, but notice those subtle movements created by your breath. As you sit longer, your breath might become more shallow and those movements more subtle. You're welcome to stay here in this seated meditation or move into Shavasana. You are on your right side, bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Palms together, right in front of your heart. One last full breath in. Pay attention as you breathe out. Bring your thumbs up to the middle of your forehead. We honor ourselves with this practice. Thank you for joining and sharing in it this morning. We will end class now. Namaste.